Now, at what point in, in his time with the Sioux do you start to talk to him about, you know, having to make an eventual decision on whether he's going NHL or going uh, to the WHA? At this point, had the NHL opened up their, their signing opportunities to kids who are under 20 years old? Well, what that situation did, in my thinking, the way hockey was played there was in, the, in the OHL at the time. Right. With as many guys that were goons, and I'm... I shouldn't be that strong about it, but it was. Yeah. It's, yeah. When he was 17, and I had a call from John Bass. Here's where, here's where you get it. Go again. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, at that time, John had collected, I think, uh, five to seven players that were going to play for the Birmingham Bulls. Sure. And John is is a uh, person that you were involved heavily yeah. with in the negotiations yeah. with John Tonelli. With the Toros. Now yeah. he's the owner of the Birmingham Bulls. Birmingham Bulls. Right. And John phones me up and he says, Guess, uh, I've got five uh, junior A players. I'm paying them $50,000 to play in the WHA next year. And they're going to play for me. They're already signed. He says, uh, I'd like Wayne. I says, Well, he's only 17. He says, Well, I have I, I like Wayne and I like another player you got. And I said, Oh, who's that? Mike Gartner. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And I'd like to win. Uh, yeah, apparently. And I said, well, oh, John, I've, I've got to give this some thought, and i got to talk to Walter. I talked to Wal- Walter and Wayne, and then I was going to talk to Mike Gartner and his parent. His parent. And I mean, he's 17. The fact that he was getting beat up, the fact that what this coach almost did to him. Changed his playing career forever. It changed my attitude, like, He's 17. He's still not big. Right, right. Well, I met with John in a Toronto restaurant. He says, well, I want those two players. Fifty. I says, John, I can't let them go for $50,000. You know, it's just, it's impossible. Yeah. He says, well, all the other guys are 50000 But I'll tell you what turned me off. It wasn't the $50,000. Is I was afraid these two players going to play there was five others, they might screw around. Oh. They got some money. Like lose their focus on the game. That's right. Oh. At times. Because they were all going together That's at the right. same age. Oh, at wow. At the same age wow. with a few bucks in their pocket. Fair, fair. In Birmingham, I did, didn't like the idea of it. I didn't like it. I didn't tell John that. Yeah. It was money. Yeah. Money was a factor. Yes, I can't afford it. And I said, John, I can't. So. He, they weren't going to go there in my eyes. Sure. And I felt bad because I really admired this guy. Yeah. He, he actually gave me the start. I wouldn't have been an agent without him. Right. And I just liked him a lot. But So you, you felt bad because you weren't exactly honest with why Wayne wasn't going. I wasn't honest with him. And, and is there a reason why you were worried about telling him your fears of, of six young kids? Doesn't that, it seems well, reasonable. Yeah. Then he'd have some reason why it wouldn't happen oh, that fair, way. Fair, I fair, fair. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know why <laughs> But but before the conversation was over, John says, "Well, I've got a couple of people I can call in the WHA sure. that might pay you what you want." Sure. So, so he was going to help you get those players to a different team. Well, and think compete about it. against him. Well, think about it. But the they got to keep the league strong. The league does better if more players go over there. Right. I don't He's, think they're as concerned about winning as they are about well, becoming as popular. You know who the, who the, the guy I'm going to meet? Tell me it's Nelson Scalbania. Nelson Scalbania. Amazing. I am so excited to get into he's, some conversations about he him. Said, he says, Gus, I'll have Nelson give you a call. Nelson gives I don't know who he is. Yeah. He says, Gus, he doesn't know anything about hockey. <laughs> <laughs> I said, kind of said under my breath, all the, be- all the better. Yeah. I think he was an engineer turned uh, oh. turned owner of, of a team. He just yeah, he had enough money. The, the yeah, high yeah. profile. Yeah, yeah. He, the reason was... He was a competitor against Nelson Scalbini and was the Edmonton Oilers. Oh, okay. They were, I call them friendly enemies. Mm-hmm. They hated each other, but so each one was always trying to do each other. Right. So I called them friend, friendly enemies. So when you mentioned Edmonton, sorry, you, you said Scalbini, you mean Pocklington? Yeah. Yeah. Nelson Scalbini and Peter Pocklington were friendly enemies. Right. Oh, okay. Right. Because yeah. Peter was the owner of the Oilers. Right, right. Okay, fair. Uh, so I'm talking to Nelson Scalvania at the hotel, and uh, he doesn't know anything about hockey. And next thing I know, uh, John is high on this kid, says this kid's really good. 
and he's going to play for Indianapolis. He owns the Indianapolis. Team. Right, right. I said, uh, well, uh, you know, I'd like to negotiate with you on it. Uh, but goes into pocket, comes up with his hundred dollar bill. <laughs> he said, okay, I want you to bring Walt, uh, his father and his mother, and you and me, and to my house in uh, BC tomorrow. I says, we can't have Walter. Walt, Walter works. Yeah, and you know, I'm kind of. Got commitments. I says, we can't do that tomorrow. He says, okay, come out Saturday. <laughs> Gives me these $100 bills. <laughs> and I phone Walter. I says, Walter, guess where we're going? Where? He says, well, we're going to Vancouver. <laughs> you, me, Phyllis, and Wayne. So wow. he, know, he knows at this point, though, that the conversation with uh, with John about about joining, with the, that's that's over and yeah. done with. He knows John's that, John's the right? one that phoned, phoned Nelson. But wait. And and Walter was aware of that at this point? No. That, oh, okay. No, okay. not until I got had the meeting with okay. Nelson Scalvania. Then when I phoned him about, well, we're going to Vancouver. Going. I said, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> he says, yeah. He says, he says, Gus, I Phyllis and I don't like to fly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he says, neither do I. <laughs> so we get on this plane. And we get picked up on a Rolls Royce by Nelson oh, wow. Scalvania. And we're going to this mansion that's overlooking this view like you wouldn't believe. On the West Coast? On the West Coast. And uh, Nelson says to, he says, has Wayne got any runners? He says, uh, I says, well, well, I don't know. He says, well, I want to take him for a run. Oh. Wayne, you, did you bring any sh- shorts and, and running shoes or anything? He says, yeah, I do. I have, Gus. He says, well, Walter wants to take you for a run. Okay. Nelson. What Nelson, Nelson does, and yeah, Nelson. yeah. And Nelson, and he said, I said, go for a run. He said, okay. Anyways, they go for a run. Yeah. And they're coming back. I don't know how long it took. But uh, Nelson's puffing him. And he apparently is a very good shape. Right. And Wayne beat him. <laughs> <laughs> so he was really impressed with that. Yeah. Oh, right. wow. Right so off. Doesn't know anything about hockey, but he knows about <laughs> no, running. He knows no, how good a shape he's in. That was yeah. part of his test. Oh, really? Sure. Yeah. That was part of his test on this kid right off the bat. Yeah, I've never heard these stories even from Wayne. So, no, I, I mean, what? yeah, he, he wouldn't maybe even remember. Well, well Wayne, Wayne he'll, will he'll, remember he'll everything. Remember, he'll remember. He that. remembers every little he'll detail, but that. he doesn't talk yeah. about it. Enough. No. So, what was it ultimately that had you deciding? Okay, I'm. I you know this guy's flashing a lot of money. He's he's asking me down. Well, I don't know what he was flashing, and I had no idea what I was even asking for. At the sure, time. sure. But I did come up with some figures. So. We had dinner that night. We negotiated a, a little bit. I threw out some figures. Well, I want two hundred and fifty thousand signing bonus, and I want—I uh, forget the numbers. Sure. Anyways, it come up to seven eighty-five for four years. <sighs> okay. Now we're talking. He says, "Well, Gus, I gotta sleep on this. I, you know, tell you what, we're gonna take you tomorrow. I want to show you my offices and this and that." And he says, "Okay." So. Came back the next day. I said, you know, my, we haven't changed. In fact, I was, I think we need to add a little more to it. Wow. <laughs> Good for you. That's, that's, that's the so backbone. It's not Nelson's favor to be showing him all the, the Rolls Royce and yeah. all that. And, he, and these expensive paintings. Right. Right. You can and afford that. You can afford, you can afford him. Boy. Yeah. And that's why I said there has to be something added. Everything in the figures where this is, but you got to give me one painting. <laughs> and I'm thinking that painting's worth that much today. How much is it worth down the road? Yeah. Wow. He says, Gus, I want to do this press conference in Edmonton, not in Vancouver. Oh, he wants wow. to do it in front of Peter Pock. Ah. Wow. <laughs> and but it's it's worth noting as well that the Oilers at this point in time were in the WHA. Yeah. They're the only team oh, yeah. that came oh, yeah. over no, the NHL with the WHA. Yeah. yeah. Actually, Wayne was supposed to, was turned down by Winnipeg. Yeah. Wow. The GM made a huge mistake. Yeah. Anyways, I, w- I was hoping for the painting. But I was going to get my two 250 signing bonus and the four-year contract. Yeah. And it was, uh, what's the word? You said personal contract? Personal services contract. That's what, yeah. that's what he was going to give us, a personal service contract. Okay. So if he never played a game, Wayne would have to maybe wash the deck of his <laughs> yacht. <laughs> But, but he'd still get paid. But he'd still, still get, get it. Paid. Right. He agreed to that. 
but not the painting. Ah, pissed. that's too bad. I, I was pissed. pissed. Thank you so much for watching this clip of the Sign Off of Frameworth Podcast. Just a reminder that we have full episodes of the Sign Off available wherever you get your podcasts on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and more. Make sure to like and subscribe on whichever platform you use. You can find us on Twitter at Frameworth Sport or on Instagram at Frameworth Sports. And hey, if you're not sick of me yet, you can find me on Twitter at Retrograde Mikey. Finally, feel free to send us emails with your questions you want us to answer on the show, and we may feature you live. You can do that by sending your emails to signoffpod at frameworth.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you with a new episode every single Thursday.